హలో ఆల్ ఐఎమ్ కమాండర్ సంతానం హెల్పింగ్ హ్యాండ్స్ ఫర్ ఈసీహెచ్ఎస్ ఈజ్ మై యూట్యూబ్ ఛానల్ అండ్ ఐఎమ్ వెరీ హ్యాపీ టు బ్రింగ్ వీడియో నెంబర్ వన్ టూ సెవెన్ దిస్ ఈస్ ఎ వెరీ యూస్ఫుల్ వీడియో విచ్ విల్ టేక్ యూ త్రూ వేరియస్ స్టెప్స్ ఆన్ హౌ టు మేనేజ్ ఫార్టీ సిక్స్టీ ఫోర్ కేబీ కార్డ్ ద ఈసీహెచ్ఎస్ కార్డ్ విచ్ యూ హ్యావ్ ఇట్స్ ఎ సిక్స్టీ ఫోర్ కేబీ కార్డ్ a brief introduction you are 64 kb card when it is handed over to you by the station headquarters or by the polyclinic depending on the location it is first activated by entering the otp which you have received as an sms this is called as activation number 1 this also gives a status message that the card handed over in the website or the web portal of the card after this you are to go to the polyclinic for that matter any polyclinic for completing the second activation using the polyclinic kiosk the staff at the polyclinic will help to do this typically they show the card to the screen and when it is read they change the pin if the pin is 1 2 3 4 5 6 they change it to another six digit number this is activation number 2 only when both these steps are completed your card is ready for use to get all echs facilities this is to be noted many people do you know complete this after that they don't go to the polyclinic and then they land up in an emergency emergency in an empanel hospital when they produce the card that card will show as inactive so you can't get ecs services empanel cashless capless services so my advice complete both these actions when you collect the card this one and the second one promptly don't wait and put it to another day let's see now two scenarios your faulty card scenarios number 1 it is called as visual fault okay when you collect your card from station headquarters or polyclinic it is possible that the data which is printed is different from the data which you have put it in the application and verified by the record office for example your name a spelling mistake has happened in the application you have given the correct date the correct de- details one uh, letter may be different so when you collect the card you must check for this so this is visual fault number 1 or the second one the data which is printed on the card is not legible is not readable or partially printed like your photograph may be only half visible or the photograph is upside down or the signature has got the photograph rather than the signature all these are called as quality issues now under this condition what do you do this is what the next 11 steps will tell you out of the samadham are to be done by osc samadham are to be done by you for you go directly with the card to the o- meet the polyclinic osc polyclinic oscs are given a faulty card software module in their computer systems it is not available anywhere else only with the osc or any other authorized person by the central organization so they launch this module after that they will compare the data which is there in your card with the online application itself once they find yes there is a problem or an anomaly exists oic will select the fault as visual fault in the module and upload a copy of front and back side of the card details it will upload it in the software module after that clicks faulty card now one you what you are doing is you are just handing over the card and meeting the oic the rest is all done by the oic at this point the system will block this particular card and the temporary slip option will be enabled in your application site application site is echs.sourceinfosys.com then only temporary slip option will be enabled 
you download the temporary slip, get it signed by OAC so that you get all ECHS services. After this faulty card, clicking the faulty card, OAC will send it to the regional center, who in turn will send it to the card printing company for rectification. Once the card has been rectified or a new card is being issued, it will come back to regional center and then back to polyclinic. At this point in time, OAC knows that the faulty card was sent to the regional center. They will connect with you or call you to come and collect the card. No OTP will come to you. Please note, unlike the first time when you got. Another important thing, in all these steps, when you from the time you hand over the faulty card to the time you get your good card, you don't have to make any payment because you already made payment for this card. This is not your fault. This is a fault in the visual fault is due to the what I've explained already during the printing, etc. I hope you understood. Visual fault is declared by the OAC. Okay. The next fault is called as chip fault. This is the rear side of the card, 64 KB card. You will find on the left hand side a golden colored. This is the electronic chip which has got circuits inside and the intelligence is built because of this chip on the card. That's why you call it as ECHS smart card. There are two conditions. During the activation number two at polyclinic, the staff are unable to change the pin. This is only due to the chip fault. Number two is, you have been using this card maybe for months or years. One day when you go to the polyclinic kiosk and the staff puts it in the card reader and the kiosk does not detect your card and a message typically comes, your card is invalid. Okay, both these indicate that the chip is a problem. What you do, meet the OAC, you will launch the same faulty card module. You will insert it in the card reader, you know, associated with this module. If the card is not being detected, it is then declared as chip is faulty. This is faulty. Okay. So OAC will select chip fault, enter the card number, click search. You will get some details you will get in the display. You will compare it with the actual faulty card. These are checks and balances in the system. You don't have to bother. Then OAC will mark the card as faulty card. Automatically card gets blocked. Temporary slip will get enabled in this site, HTTPS, ECHS.SourceInforces. You download the temporary slip, get it signed by OSC, get all the services. OSC will send the card to regional center, who in turn will send it to card printing for rectification. On receipt, it will come to polyclinic, who will inform you to collect the card. Go and collect the card. No OTP will come. Again, no payment required to be made by you. This is a chip fault. I hope you understood. There are two faults I have discussed. One is a visual fault and this is the chip fault. In both these conditions, your card will not work. You will have to operate with temporary slip till you get a rectified card, fault rectified card or a new card insert. That is left to the card printing company. Okay. Who will analyze the fault, etc., etc. I hope it is clear. It's a very useful, um, you know, video. Because the cards are bound to become defective because of uh, not taking care of the card or due to its inherent fault in the circuit. I will summarize. If your card is faulty, go to OSC and it is replaced free of cost. Polyclinic will take actions for managing the faulty card and replacement for you. Nobody else. Temporary slip is provided once it is declared as faulty, so that you can get ECHS facilities. Your new card after fault rectification will come to your polyclinic for collection. If the card is faulty, my advice is do not go and use lost card option. Okay, because some people try to do that. But, you know, nobody checks whether the card is really lost or faulty. Okay, if you have not done this, but you will have to make payment. There is a facility which is available for all ECHS beneficiaries how to get a replacement card free of cost 
if the card is declared faulty. If you lose the card, of course, you can see my video, how to manage lost card. I hope it's clear. The references, one is, as we're in the early days of 2021 itself, I made a one minute video on how to manage this, but not with this level of details. I find now many people are having doubt. This is a policy letter and you can watch this video and also, and VS20 is a reference. This covers much more than what I covered in the one minute. Let me also give you some advice and tips rather, how to avoid chip damage. Keep your ECHS card in a hard card holder or a you know cardboard holder. You see, this is also provided when you get your card. You can insert the card. This is a cardboard paper and thick paper cover. Use this. It will have some protection. Okay. And it will also protect you from scratches and dust. If you see dust on the card, don't just use a rough cloth. Clean a soft cloth and just... You know, clean the card, both sides of the card. Don't rub it, just clean it. Okay. Don't use a vacuum cleaner and, you know, pressure air, etc. That is what is next one. Do not put pressure on the ECHS card. It will definitely damage the chip. Similarly, when you are carrying some coins and key chains and keys and sharp objects, you know, don't, you know, keep it away from all these things. You know, don't put the plain card in your pocket and you've got a key or something else, sharp objects there, you know, in the keychain or in the coins. It will definitely damage the chip and the card. Don't bend the card. Again, chip fault will definitely happen because there is after all very, you know, there's a circuit there. You bend the card and that is affects. Circuits will go for a toss. Card will stop working. Do not expose the chip to alcohol, sanitizer, or any cleaning liquid. That is basically, don't clean your card with all these liquids. Okay. Similarly, keep your card away from heat. You know, any stove or any heat or a very hot weather. Don't expose it to hot sunlight. You know, keep it under this. Keep it within your pocket or in a in a in a bag or something like that. Now, take care of this card. Of course, we discussed it. Ensure it do not get wet. If you see the water has fallen, then immediately take a soft cloth and, you know, just slowly, you know, softly wipe it. Okay. Then your card will be saved. My advice is always keep the card safe so that it not only does not get damaged, doesn't get lost or it doesn't get misused. All the three are not good for us. I hope you understood. These are tips from my side. It is not there in any policy. You may like to, you know, use keep this in mind to keep your card safe because ECHS card is absolutely very critical for every one of us because any healthcare anywhere in India and Nepal is possible only when you have a valid ECHS card, working card or a temporary slip. This time we have discussed only about the card and its how to keep it safe. As I always say, I've taken a lot of pains to develop all these videos and launch it. Do not copy or reproduce without my permission. However, share my videos to any veteran and family so that they also get empowered and benefited. Thank you very much. I appreciate your support. In all these videos in my channel called Helping Hands for ECHS and my web portal, 100% of your queries are answered. And uh, whenever you see my video, any one video, when you see it, please hit subscribe button. If you still find there are certain areas not covered, send me a message or you want some help, send me a message. In case of an emergency and you don't have anybody to reach to, call me. I will try my best to help you. Jai Hind.